Hello friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So as you understand, this is I am talking about KCET 2024 seat allotment process or seat allocation process. So this I am talking with an example and you should hear it clearly. And before that, there are some tips for option entry, right? So first tip is that just don't add any college or course combination you wanted to take, right? Please have a thinking which all cities you can take which all college you know types you can take autonomous non autonomous see the fee structure for the college also see the fee structure of the hostel and then only decide because there are a lot of limitations and students become very sad when they make mistakes right so it is important that whatever you add college course combination you should be definitely ready to go it after the allocation right then lot of students use accept 10 upgrade accept 10 upgrade type of uh, you know uh, choice entry so that they can go for the next round which is round two round three and so on right so one one important thing is if you are moving from round to round that the moment you get a new seat i'm talking about accept 10 upgrade student the moment they get new seat the round one seat will be automatically cancelled then lot of students say no i just want to go back to my round one seat which is not possible so please remember this is very important and it's a party spoiler right if you get a new seat old seat will automatically cancel right the next point is that if you don't get any seat for example in the second round you are not getting any seat then your first round seat which you have blocked right by paying fees that will be available for you to join so that is the good news so this is there is a difference between point number two and three and understand that clearly if you get any seat then you cannot go back to round one seat if you don't get any seat then you can take the round one seat fourth is that modify and delete options will be available in the round two right and it does not allow you to add a new college in most of the uh, kct counseling sites so it is very important that you add all the possible college course combinations in the round one itself whatever you can think there is no limitation you can add up to thousand entries also start from the top college to the end college but whichever you can take and can join just don't add any college course combinations which you will repent or feel sorry later so this is the important tips now let me show you how you can do the option entry and once you are moving from round one to round two how it will work right the complete allotment process so i am taking example there are three students first is like a student who got the rank of say 1001 rank and he added four colleges rvcsc rvc isc bms csc and msrit csc and then there is a second student whose rank is just after him it is rank number 1002 he also added the same combination csc isc of rv and then he also added bms csc of msrit now there is a third student whose rank is rank is 1003 and he also added the same four colleges which i just explained and four choice filling or option entries so three students consecute to one after another and same option entry they have done so now let's see how they they will be allotted seat now once the result of round one is out the first student right he is able to get bms csc in the round one itself that means he has did not get anything from rvce csc or isc but he was able to get bmsc csc as a first uh, rank 1001 now the 1002 rank student he got bms csc similar to the previous student now assuming that this that was the last seat of bms csc so third student have also done the same uh, option entry but he has not got the bms csc what he has got is msrit csc so right so these are the three people's uh, you know first round allotment now they accept and upgrade so they are going for the second round right now available for editing all lower options will be deleted so first important thing is whenever you get move to the next round the lower options than what you have got in the previous round that will be deleted and only the top option will remain which will be shown you like in this case like first student rank 1001 
for his uh, branch of BMS CSC, there are only two options which are above that, which was RVCSC and ISC CSC. So that will remain in his option entry for round two. Now he can modify this option entry. He can delete some of the things from that option entry. Now let's go to the second student. Second student also got the same thing, BMS CSC. So his option entry will also have two, two line items. Now the third student who got 1003 rank he got msrit csc so in that way he has not got three option entries of higher order which will remain in his so his option entry will remain like rvcsc rvisc and bms csc in that order now let's see when what happens in the round two allotment so in the round two allotment rank one, 1001 student was now able to move from bmsc CSC to RVISC that means he is upgraded so he is, he is happy right he got IR, RVC ISC the moment he has got the RVC ISC BMS CSC will be deallocated from his name it will be taken out from his name and it will be added to the vacant seat matrix right immediately automatically it will happen now he cannot say that I want to take back the BMS CSC because he has already got the RVCSC RVC ISC branch right that is his new branch hope you understood now second student right which was 1002 so in case he is not able to get the one branch of uh, upper right but he got the same thing again BMS CSC so he, in that case he has, does not have any new allotment so whatever seat was for hold for him which was BMS CSC he is finally given the same thing and he can join the college there also or he can go for the next round of counseling also but that is his uh, you know allotment now rank number 1003 so you saw that rank number uh, 1003 will get now bms csc for the reason that the uh, rank number 1000 vacated that seat right when he got the rvce isc and then this guy will be automatically upgraded from msrit csc to bms csc so that is how it works right so once you vacate the seat it goes to the next student who is applied for that particular college or course so this is very important to understand how the seat allotment will happen so that you don't do any mistakes so that's all i have to cover thanks for watching and please do subscribe channel to get similar updates on all the kcet process as well as the college review take care and bye